Oh, 100%. Some great food in our kitchen this morning. We have Joe and JR from Our Bistro. Good to see you guys. Nice to see you. And we also have Craig Nelson here to tell us all about this big event that is coming up. We'll get to that in a second. First, I want to start with the food. Joe, tell us a little bit about what we're going to be having today. We're going to do a, uh, a bronze grouper. We're going to start it out over the stove. Mm -hmm. and will you hand it to me? Yes, sir. And we're going to put a little bit of uh, Creole seasoning on it. This is a seasoning that we do at our we make it at our uh, restaurant. See, that's why I like to get the cooking going right away because we start getting those good smells and all that good food going. Really sets the tone for the morning. So, what's in your uh, Creole? I mean, I know you can't give away the secret, but what do what you got in there a little bit? Can well, you we got it? you got the, uh, of course, the peppers, the red, the white, and the black peppers. Mm -hmm. Oregano, a little thyme, you know. And it smells so good, looking so good in the kitchen. And, of course, you guys are taking part in this big Taste of Rotary event, which is coming up Tuesday at the Fairhope Civic Center. So get your tickets now. Craig, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Well, the Taste of Rotary is entering its 14th year. It started as a potluck dinner with members only uh, back uh, 14 years ago. Grown a little bit. Grown a little bit. We'll have over 500 uh, guests that will attend. And our goal this year is to raise $50,000 that we will put back into the community. The primary benefactor will be the Rotary Youth Club, which is an after-school program, academic-based, uh, for children that have that need. Wow, what a great program to uh, go on out and support, have a great time. So if people want to come out to the Taste of Rotary, what do they have to know? Well, just two things. The event's next Tuesday, 6 o'clock, Fairhope Center, Civic Center, and uh, tickets can be purchased at Page and Palin in Fairhope, or okay. uh, they can be purchased at the door, $50. They can be purchased at the door, so you can show up and have some great food. Of course, get your tickets in advance, too, at Page and Palin, and stop by there. So, with the grouper that we have right now, any tips on cooking grouper for the folks out there? Yeah, I like cooking grouper. I like to start it out on top of the stove, let it brown real nice on one side, and then I have my oven about 450. Mm -hmm. And you, we'll flip that grouper fillet over, and we'll put it in the oven, and it that that the heat cooks it throughout very nicely. And uh, that's what we're going to do with this one. And, we'll, and what's the big guy Jr. going to do today? Jr. is going to do some uh, risotto. So. All right. So yeah, in the next morning. segment, Jr. will do the risotto for us. He's not just here for his good looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's actually going to be functional in the kitchen this morning. Amen. So we'll come back. We'll check in on the fish. We'll start the risotto and tell you a little bit more about the big event coming up on Tuesday. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling here in the kitchen. Joe and JR from Our Bistro are here cooking. We have Craig Nelson with the Rotary Club. Going to tell you about a big event coming up on Sunday. Or I'm sorry, on Tuesday. I'm thinking ahead to rain. Making some bronze grouper with roasted corn and tomato risotto. Oh, my goodness gracious. This smells so good. Now, you guys already did the grouper. You yep. marinated it in your special sauce and oil. Yes. I wanted to ask you about your R Bistro um, spices. Can we buy those? Yes, you can buy those at the uh, restaurant. We uh, we make them, put them together, and bottle them there. So okay. you, you, we have a uh, stock of them there that you can come by and purchase. Good deal. So we can make this exact recipe that you guys have given us. So you bronze the grouper on one side. You have it in the oven now cooking. Mm -hmm. What temperature and how long? I got it on 450. And it's, it's going to take about uh, 10 minutes in there at 450. Not bad at all. No. With dinner, we like that. Oh, yeah. And then the risotto is going to be the side. And this is smelling fabulous. So yep. what's the secret here? How do we do this? Well, what we got here is we got a little cream, uh -huh. a little risotto rice. Then what we do is we add a little more corn. Okay. Can't ever have enough corn. That's it. You can't have <laughs> enough vegetables. Then we add a little more tomatoes. A little salt and pepper just for seasoning, so we have a good taste. Mm -hmm. And then what tops it all off is the Asiago cheese. Oh, yeah. Corn and cheese. Yes. Put them together, and there's happiness. There you there. go. And then you just mix them together until they're nice and creamy, and then you have your risotto. Okay. Simple. There's a big event coming up Point Clear Rotary Club Tuesday, Taste of Rotary. You guys are going to be cooking there. Yes, we are. 25 chefs, lots of good food, yes. going to be some auctions, silent auctions. Yes. So tell us a little bit about this event. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, especially when you have 25 chefs cooking some local good food. We do have 25 chefs, and in addition to that, we'll have a live auction, 26 items, and we'll have a, a, a real diverse set of items. We'll have a couple of quail hunts, uh, guided fishing tours, uh, local art. Uh, as well as condos and uh, some wine auctions, so a real diverse set of items. Yeah. And uh, 
the community has supported this over the years very, very, very well, and we appreciate what they've done. It's allowed us to put back over $500,000 into the community over the last 14, 15 years. And what does that money go to? It goes to uh, principally seven organizations, the Rotary Youth Club, along with six others uh, that we have supported historically now for about six, eight years. Okay, well, it sounds like it's going to be a good time, right? Lots of food, lots of, like you mentioned, a lot of wide variety of items to bid on with the auction, and you're supporting very good cause. Tuesday, 6 p.m., Fairhope Civic Center. That's the taste of Rotary. Are you guys going to be cooking something like this? Do you know what you're cooking yet? We'll, we'll, be, we'll have our uh, gumbo and crawfish gravy at the event. Ooh. We'll do crawfish gravy over smoked Gouda grits. That sounds good. Oh, man. Well, this smells good. In just a few minutes, we'll put it all together, plate it, put some asparagus with it. In the meantime, you can get the recipe on box10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. About a big event coming up next Tuesday in Fairhope with the Rotary Club, and we've got some great food courtesy of Joe and JR from our Bistro. Guys, tell the folks what we've been working on this morning. We've been working on a uh, bronze grouper over a sweet corn and tomato risotto with a tasso cream sauce with a little asparagus. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple, easy way to uh, cook your fish. And uh, as we said earlier, we're using the same uh, Creole seasoning that we use at the restaurant. We make it there and it can be purchased there. And it's the best time of the show when we plate the dish up and taste it. So, what do we need to do here? JR's going to plate the risotto. Okay. And you're getting that nice, nice grouper out. Looks so good. Yeah. And you were telling me a little bit during the commercial break all the things that you do at RB Zero, all fresh. You make it all there. Tell the folks about that. Yeah, we do. All our salad dressings are made there. We even make our own au jus for our uh, French dips. All the way down to the au jus. All the way to the au jus. And then we. Uh, on Sunday morning brunch, we make our own Bloody Mary mix. I love so, a good Bloody Mary as well. So if, if pretty much if we don't make it there, we don't sell it. All the desserts, these here that you see, uh, we make all those in-house. Yeah, take a look at that great dessert tray that you guys brought. I'm sure that's going to be gone within one hour of the show being over <laughs> here on Studio 10. And, of course, uh, you can get this dish at our bistro. If you stop by, they're going to be making something else at the big Rotary Club event that's coming up on Tuesday. Tell the folks one more time about that. Again, Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, Fairhope Civic Center, Taste of Rotary, uh, sponsored by the Point Clear Rotary Club. Uh, the, do uh, the proceeds from that event, which we are uh, hoping will be about 50000 would be put back into the community to support seven organizations that are a part of our efforts. And primarily, you said it benefits the youth, correct? The Rotary Youth Club, and our focus is on family and, and children. All right, and the JR is putting the finishing touches on it, just a little uh, garnish there, and look at that dish. I'm going to ruin it as we go to break with this fork because it looks too good not to taste, guys. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Mmm. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> <It's all yours. laughs> Thank you so much. We'll Thank be right you. back. Thank you. Mm.